everyone, welcome back to the pregnancy updates. This is now week 29. Sorry, the cat is distracting me. She's just sauntering on through. Um, I'm doing this downstairs again because it's really, really warm tonight and Isla's upstairs and she is not asleep yet. So week 29 of pregnancy. Um, this week has to be the first week that I have actually felt super, my cat's here again. You can mean to say hello. Hi, boos. This is the first week that I have actually felt like super, super pregnant. Feeling a little bit more like I can't do as much as I used to and things like that. Um, in terms of size, I am, I think, bigger and I think baby's moved a little bit as well. Baby seems to be kind of shifted down a little bit, which is good. It's meaning I can breathe a little bit more, which is nice. But at the same time, it makes me feel heavier and it's like harder to move around and yeah just things like getting up in the morning um i've been springing well not springing out but that's completely lie because i'm not a morning person and i stay up ridiculously late doing vlog and vlog work but instead of being able to just get out of bed normally now i'm a bit like and a bit like a beetle um so that's been a change again i think because baby's moved that's why it's i don't know putting pressure on different areas or whatever else another thing as well and this is a really really strange thing but pants are just annoying me like i just i i there are no pants in the world that are comfortable at the moment so i just don't want to wear pants which is silly because i obviously can't go to work wearing no pants or go out and about wearing no pants but i just it sounds ridiculous i don't remember this so far i don't remember feeling so uncomfortable with like pants so yeah that's a strange it's not a symptom at all but it's just a thing that's been going on baby is mental baby is really really active i might um put a little clip of a video i got of baby moving around tonight i might put that in now But it literally just kicks. I was gonna say something rude there, but it just kicks me all day, every day. And it moves and it squirms, and you can actually see like the full on like movements now. And like at one point, I'll put another photo in now. My bump was completely off to the side and it stayed like that for ages and it was so uncomfortable. And even Nyla was like, oh, mama, because we were reading stories at the time and she was a bit creeped out by it. So yeah, baby is pretty crazy, but it's good that it's very active. I like that. It means it's a lot easier to track its movements and make sure it's okay. So that's wonderful. I'm starting to get annoyed with clothes now. I've been really lucky up until this point that um, things have just carried on fitting and my bumps have been really neat and I've not had to do that many adjustments to like, what I'm wearing and things. But this week, I just like I've mentioned with the whole just feeling more pregnant, I just, I put things on and I'm like, bleh. Bleh, bleh. I don't like any of it. So struggling with that, but I'm sure I will get my um, bump mojo back soon. I've been getting waves of nausea again this week, which has been a bit of rubbish. And not so much heartburn actually. I had more heartburn last week than I have this week. But yeah, just waves of nausea and just not really being very hungry and not really fancying food. Going back to being a bit smells, putting you off and things like that. So hopefully that passes soon. I had a midwife appointment this week. I totally forgot. I wasn't even going to mention this because I completely forgot. But it was just a routine one where they um, did some blood. You probably can't see in my arm because the camera's quite bright. But she, she said she did it. She was like, oh, it was really easy that time. But I was left with like a massive bruise. And you know when you get the jab, the whooping cough jab or any sort of jab and your whole muscle goes sore and things? It was like that from a blood test, which I thought was quite unusual. You don't really get that from blood test. So she did a blood test. So it's a test for anemia and something else I can't remember right now something else and also did blood pressure pee listened to baby's heartbeat had a feel around measured my tummy for the first time you know when they have the tape measure and they do that growth thingy so she did that and marked it on my chart and I don't think I see them again until 34 weeks I think it's probably just before I move up to Scotland so she's booked me in for a double appointment so that she can photocopy my notes and make sure everything is kind of in place for doing the switch over to up north of the border. I also have my whooping cough jab. I can't remember if I mentioned this in the last video. It was kind of in between week 20 and 29 and I did it in this arm and I was like oh it was totally fine. It was a bit nippy, a bit of a scratch and then the next day I was like <laughs> couldn't move my arm. I was trying to change gear in the car and I was like Wah. so yeah that was that was that. I thought it would be fun to share a few little pregnancy bits and bobs that I've either been sent this week or bought. So first up are these bump bump bix 
pregnancy cookies and they're chocolate chip cookies so they are ooh, organic i believe and helping pregnant mums the tasty way blah 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 not only tastes good but are great for you and your baby so i'll probably feature these and tell you a little bit more about these I haven't even tried them yet but nice box looks like they might taste quite nice robert will be very jealous because he loves biscuits i'm lucky that i still don't have any stretch marks but i put an insane amount of oil and cream on my bump every single morning and i've just run out of all my aldi stuff and i've been sent this stuff from pie skincare I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's their stretch mark system, which is organic pomegranate and pumpkin seed. And it's basically a um, tube of cream and a tube of oil that you use together. So again, that will be up on the blog soon. And this fab little thing, which I think will be really good in our situation with Rob being away, it's called Belly Buds. Your baby is listening and you can play music for your baby to be. It's two little things you put on your bump and then you play music. But what we're going to do is record Robert speaking and possibly singing like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star or something and then play the baby it so it kind of gets used to his voice because obviously he's he's not here. So again there'll be a review of that coming soon too. And then lastly I am literally almost at the stage where I have to put this belly bar retainer thing in. I found my old one from when I was pregnant with Isla but then I decided that A it was a bit gross because I don't know how well I cleaned it and B and then lost it within a week. So I bought another one off eBay for a couple of pounds. It's just a plastic, don't know how well that'll show up. Plastic retainer you put in instead of your belly bar. So what's going on with baby this week? Baby is 38.6 centimetres long, it's getting pretty big, and roughly 1,153 grams. So baby will probably weigh approximately about two and a half pounds by now. Ah, scary. I really hope this one's smaller than Isla was, eight pounds 11. Baby's brain is now in charge of monitoring its body temperature and also controls its breathing. And baby's irises can now respond to light by dilating and retracting or whatever the word is. All the internal organs are starting to mature and are starting to prepare themselves for life after birth. And this is a really interesting one. Um, you might actually be able to feel baby cough now, which kind of makes sense because this baby's crazy active and does all sorts of things. Baby skin is looking less wrinkly and more like what's going to look like at birth and again more like last week more fat is deposited under the skin which will help it regulate its temperature at birth. Baby's head is more proportionate to its body which is fab and the last point it says that baby has bundles and bundles of energy at the moment so you'll be likely to be feeling So here's Bump. Um, sorry, the lighting is really terrible. Not much has changed to be honest. It's kind of just more that babies move from up here to more down here. And, oh, I'm getting kicks as we talk. This is Bump from the front. So like I said before, I will be changing my belly button piercing. I think this will be here next because it's getting to the, the point where it needs to be changed. And from this side. Hello Bump. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Sorry it was a bit of a long one. I apparently had a lot more to say than what I thought I did. And if you're looking for any other pregnancy updates, then check out our pregnancy section. And don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you very soon. Bye. Good afternoon. It's Friday afternoon and we have some visitors. Both my brothers are down the street. So um, yeah, we went to